U.S. banks have been under a lot of scrutiny this year, and really for, for one main reason, and that is what we call net interest margin. So what that simply is, is the spread between what banks pay out for their uh, high interest savings accounts, their GICs, for example, their certificates of deposit in the U.S. or CDs. So what they pay as interest versus what they charge as interest. So there's always a spread there, what they charge versus what they pay. And obviously, if they can charge more than what they're paying out, then they make more money, simply put. And we call that net interest margin. What we've been finding over the past year or so are the banks having to pay out more interest for some of the products that they offer, like high interest savings accounts, for example. If they don't pay out higher interest, then many investors will take their money out of the bank and stick it into a short-term government bond, which is, as we know, paying close to 5% or in and around 5%. So we've seen a lot of the major banks in the United States and even in Canada now have or have seen their net interest or their spread shrink. And that has caused a lot of concern. It's con is caused a lot of concern with smaller banks and even some of the larger banks and some of the ratings agencies recently have said that the banks or the banking sector is on watch. Even large banks will be on watch to perhaps see their credit rating drop from where they are currently. So we have a, a couple of charts here, or a bunch of charts here. One is uh, US Bank Corp, which is one of the largest uh, regional banks in the United States. We call them a super regional. You can see the fall that they took in March when we had the, the bank failures and we saw a nice pickup uh, since then and recently pulled back because again, these ratings agencies are starting to point out that these banks are in tough. They're in tough because interest rates are higher and banks have actually become one of those interest sensitive investment ideas that has fallen when interest rates go higher, which is a total switch to what we've been used to over the years. We used to say when interest rates go up, banks can charge more for the loans they provide and they make more money. Well, at this point in time, with regulators telling the banks that you can't lend as much, you need to keep more money uh, on the books because if we were to go into a recession, you need some money there. So they're not lending as much, therefore not generating as much revenue. They have to pay out more interest on the savings accounts that they provide, for example, so they're not making as much money there. And overall, as the economy slows, businesses aren't willing to take as much out in the way of loans, borrow money to, to grow their business. We're not seeing an, uh, uh, an IPO market, not as many companies going public or doing as many bond offerings or trading as much. So overall, the banks are having a difficult time. And this is US Bancorp as we have, but we could show a couple of other banks as well. PNC Financial, uh, another super regional bank, not as big as the big money center banks that we always talk about in the US. But again, this is probably the seventh largest bank in the US. And once again, a similar chart to US Bank Corp, bounced back after the sell-off in March, but has recently turned downward. We could even pull up some Canadian banks. TD Bank here, uh, we have a chart of as well. And you can see that TD has moved back down towards its 52-week uh, low uh, in the low 80s right now. I believe it got as low as the high 70s, producing a dividend, nice dividend if you're looking to make a a good purchase today, perhaps TD is a, a good opportunity, 4.6%. And uh, lastly, I believe, yes, we have one of Scotia Bank, Bank of Nova Scotia. Bank of Nova Scotia, interesting enough, is back down to its 52 week low. Its yield on its, on its dividend, dividend yield is getting close to 7% once again. So Scotia Bank, a name, third largest bank in our country, perhaps an opportunity to, to make a buy, but Make no mistake, banks are definitely under a lot of scrutiny and the ratings agencies are on watch. They've said they're on notice. They'll be watching what the banks do and how they perform going forward. And of course, that will make all the difference as to how the bank sector and banks as an investment idea for your portfolio, it'll, make, uh, it'll matter for that as well.